Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And I had somebody ask me on one of my videos, how would you figure out how many pentagons you would need to get around this shape and have them touching? So I drew a pentagon and it is, for the video, I made it 2.5 inches wide. And the numbers aren't perfect, but it, this will work. So I, I created an outer circle that is almost touching my point right there. So, we need to know the length of the outer circle. Click on the outer circle and go to Windows, go to Dockers, go to Object Properties. And if you've converted that circle into a curve, which it is, you can click on this right here. And it'll tell you the length of that curve is 55.12327 inches. So, 55.1327 inches divided by 2.5, which is the width of those tips, equals 22.049. Round it off to 22. So 360 degrees divided by 22 gives you 16.3636 degrees that you need to rotate it. So let's zoom in here. And let's grab our pentagon and let's control D and make a duplicate of it. Click on the X and get the rotation. Move the rotation to the center, and a lot of times it doesn't look like it's in the center, but when you double click on it, it will be. And then we're going to rotate it 16.363636. Control D. Now, now we need to do double, which is 3272. We're going to go. 32.72, and there's some fraction of numbers in there. And then just keep hitting the duplicate key. And of course, if you got out a calculator, it would be perfect. And we're probably a hair off, but they are touching. They're they're actually pretty pretty good. They're actually touching a little bit. So you could play around with your math, and then depending on what you're going to do, you could delete that outer circle. Matter of fact, you could delete the inner circle, grab them all, and weld them together. And now they will be touching. There's just a little bit of space in there, depending on what, what your plan is to do with this. You know, if you just want that shape. So you just take, you know, any circle. Let's just do that real quick. And you could figure it out with a calculator and math. But see right now that doesn't it doesn't have an icon for that because we need to go to a range and convert it to a curve and then that icon comes up and just click on it and that circle is 12.12902 along this so if you took that and broke it out and made a line out of it it would be 12 inches long where that circle is only three and you could do that with math you know if you had get out of calculator but that right there is, is dead on perfect so i hope it answered his question and thank you for watching